This might evoke one or two memories. It's about the halcyon days of professional wrestling in the 70s and 80s. <laughs> Big Daddy shouted easy when he won a wrestling match. Kendo Nagasaki wouldn't remove his mask. Yeah. Mick Mick Manners and Mick Mick Michael were a Mick 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 in mouthful. <laughs> Les Kelly can cat weasel fought to make us laugh. Honey Boy Zimba came from Africa, so did Johnny Quango. Yeah. Though my uncle Rez dust wear blind, he'd seen pair of them shopping down his local. <laughs> Count Bartelli for him nearby crew and the legendary T Boy Yaka <laughs> With me Auntie Pam's favourite too Mum reckoned that we go last Two falls, one submission or a knockout decide the winner We'd sit glued in front of the television set every Saturday after dinner Johnny Kid, Johnny Saint, Jackie Mr. TV, Ballo, Adrian Street, Bad Bobby Barnes and that Red Indian fellow. <laughs> Half Nelson's forearm smashes, Boston Crab's angry grannies, Kent Walton would describe it all with the air of a detached retina. Proper wrestling at what? None of this American go. The men were hard as dumpster screws and the women just as tough. Who remembers Klondike Kate, the girl from Bentley? Every night I'd go to bed and dream she'd land on me. Catch weight, lightweight, heavyweight. We could no wait for world of sport. Dickie Davies, the ITV7, plus the half-time football scores. Memories that keep me warm in these harsh and troubled times. For slowly, surely, as we go through life, our heroes are all dying. Giant A stacks no more. And the late, great, legendary Cyanide Sid Cooper. I, for one, will always support you beautiful boys and girls of proper wrestling. Thank you. Yay! Proper wrestling.